first look here tonight at this video, dramatic video, showing deputies in action saving people from a sinking pontoon boat. This happened yesterday near Anclote Island, and tonight ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler explaining what caused this near disaster and how it's really part of a much bigger problem. <laughs> The boat sank before we could even hit May Day. 13 people on one pontoon boat. They say as soon as they realized the Gulf waters were too rough, they turned around. But that's when the waves overcame them. It was within 30 seconds. The boaters might not have lasted much longer in the water. A few of them didn't know how to swim. Some had their life jackets on wrong or didn't have one at all. You get one person that goes in the water and you get them out, it's, it's a good day. But to do it 13 times without anyone seriously injured, is a miracle. They, they obviously had someone watching out for him. A private boater got to the group first and rescued three of them. God bless him and thank God for him because if it wasn't for him, I don't know where we'd be at right now. The sheriff's office says there was a small boat advisory in the area yesterday with three foot waves and the boaters should have never gone out. It was a lot rougher than you think. Uh, it was probably about 25 mile an hour winds. This was the latest in a busy stretch of water rescues. Pasco deputies say besides the 13 yesterday, they had to rescue 17 other boaters last week alone. It was cold this winter, so people just want to get outside. Um, they're just not paying attention to the weather whatsoever. The Marine unit wasn't far because they were at a ceremony blessing their boat. They got their blessing and then made the rescue. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.